The mourners gather, members of Italy's Eritrean community, coming to remember the many dead lost trying to cross the sea from North Africa. The brother of one of the victims reflected on why this had happened. The Eritrean government is, uh, is not doing nothing because it's very dictatorship in Eritrea. So uh, many Eritrean teenagers, they're out from the country because they have not uh, school, they have not uh, <coughs> vision in Eritrea. Every family is destroyed. For some, the pain was almost too much to bear. They were gathering here in Sicily at a commemoration ceremony led by religious figures, Coptic, Christian, Catholic and Islamic. Italian cabinet ministers had come to pay their respects. They'd been criticized for failing to deliver the full state funeral that they'd promised. And the deputy prime minister, Angelino Alfano, was targeted by protesters. They were demanding an easing of Italy's strict anti-immigration laws. And to the south of Sicily, there was frustration on the tiny island of Lampedusa. Survivors from one of the sinkings are being housed here. And they were angry that they hadn't been allowed to attend the memorial ceremony for their friends and relatives. They staged a protest, but it was brief and had little impact. Much further north, in Rome, other Eritreans held a vigil. They hope that these recent tragedies will bring change. Lampedusa is the speranza. Lampedusa is the hope for these people, but Lampedusa becomes the graves for many. We just don't want this anymore. Proper checks and controls must be made and help given to those in need by those responsible. Everybody here knows that with so many people ready to risk everything in unseaworthy boats, there's always the danger that there'll be more deaths at sea. Alan Johnston, BBC News, Rome.